Broadcom, Wikipedia article audio. Broadcom Corporation was an American Fabels semiconductor company that made products for the wireless and broadband communication industry. It was acquired by Avago Technologies in 2016 and currently operates as a wholly owned subsidiary of the merged entity called Broadcom Limited. Broadcom Corporation was founded by Professor Student Pair Henry Samuli and Henry Nicholas from UCLA in 1991. In 1995 the company moved from its Westwood, Los Angeles office to Irvine, California. In 1998, Broadcom became a public company on the Nasdaq exchange and employs about 11,750 people worldwide in more than 15 countries. History 1995-2016, Founding and Name Changes Broadcom is among Gartner's top 10 semiconductor vendors by revenue. Broadcom first landed on the Fortune 500 in 2009. In 2012, Broadcom's total revenue was $8.01 billion. In 2013, Broadcom stood at number 327 on the Fortune 500, having climbed 17 places from its 2012 ranking of number 344. In May 28, 2015 chipmaker Avago Technologies Limited agreed to buy Broadcom Corp. for $37 billion in cash and stock. At closing, which completed on February 1, 2016, Broadcom shareholders held 32% of the new Singapore-based company to be called Broadcom Limited. Hock Tan, Avago President and CEO was named CEO of the new combined company. Dr. Samuli became Chief Technology Officer and member of the combined company's board, and Dr. Nicholas serves in a strategic advisory role within the new company. The new merged entity is named Broadcom Limited but inherits the ticker symbol AVGO. The BRCM ticker symbol was retired. In May 2016 Cypress Semiconductor announced that it will acquire Broadcom Corporation's full portfolio of IoT products for $550 million. Under the deal, Cypress acquires Broadcom's IoT products and intellectual property for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and ZigBee connectivity, as well as Broadcom's WIST platform and SDK for developers. The deal combined Broadcom's developer tools and connectivity technologies for IoT devices with Cypress' own programmable system on a chip products that provide memory, computing and graphics processing for low-power devices. Qualcomm Litigation and Settlement On April 26, 2009, Broadcom settled four years of legal battles over wireless and other patents with Qualcomm Incorporated, another Fabels semiconductor company headquartered in San Diego, California. The deal ended the patent litigation as well as complaints of anti-competitive behavior before trade commissions in the United States, Europe, and South Korea. As part of the settlement, Qualcomm paid $891 million in cash to Broadcom over a four-year period ending June 2013. In June 2007, the U.S. International Trade Commission blocked the import of new cell phone models based on particular Qualcomm microchips. They found that these Qualcomm microchips infringe patents owned by Broadcom. In January 2017, the FTC sued Qualcomm for allegedly engaging in unlawful tactics to maintain a monopoly on cellular communications chips. 2006-2008, Stock Options Scandal On January 17, 2018, 
it was reported that the FTC was investigating whether Broadcom had engaged in anti-competitive tactics in negotiations with customers, in a probe that had been ongoing for several months. On July 14, 2006, Broadcom announced it had to subtract $750 million from earnings due to stock options irregularities. On September 8, 2006, the amount was doubled to $1.5 billion. The company may also owe additional taxes. On January 24, 2007, it announced a restatement of its financial results from 1998 to 2005 that totaled $2.22 billion. On May 15, 2008, Broadcom CTO Samuli resigned as chairman of the board and took a leave of absence as chief technology officer after being named in a civil complaint by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Products on June 5, 2008, Broadcom co-founder and former CEO Henry Nicholas and former CFO William Ruhill were indicted on charges of illegal stock option backdating. Nicholas was also indicted for violations of federal narcotics laws. However, in December 2009, Federal Judge Cormac J. Carney threw out the options backdating charges against Nicholas and Ruhill after finding that federal prosecutors improperly tried to prevent three defense witnesses from testifying. Network Interface Controllers Broadcom's product line spans computer and telecommunication networking. The company has products for enterprise-slash-metropolitan high-speed networks, as well as products for Soho networks. Products include transceiver and processor ICS for Ethernet and wireless LANs, cable modems, digital subscriber line, servers, home networking devices and cellular phones. It is also known for a series of high-speed encryption CO processors, offloading this processor-intensive work to a dedicated chip, thus greatly speeding up tasks that utilize encryption. This has many practical benefits for e-commerce, and PGP or GPG secure communications. Trident and ASIC the company also produces ICS for carrier access equipment, audio-slash-video processors for digital set-top boxes and digital video recorders, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi transceivers and RF receivers-slash-tuners for satellite TV. Major customers include Apple, Hewlett-Packard, Motorola, IBM, Dell, Asus, Lenovo, Linksys, Logitech, Nintendo, Nokia, Nortel, Tivo, Tenda, and Cisco Systems. In September 2011, Broadcom shut down its digital TV operations. Broadcom also shut down its Blu-ray chip business. The closure of these businesses began on September 19, 2011. On June 2, 2014, Broadcom announced intentions to exit the cellular baseband business. Graphics Processing Unit Vendors have included Broadcom NICs in their products. For example, Dell PowerEdge M-Series Blade Server products may be fitted with Dell-supplied dual-port Broadcom Net Extreme 5709 Gigabit Ethernet port adapters. Another large market is hardware for switches. Some vendors offer switching equipment based on Broadcom hardware and firmware while other well-known vendors do use the Broadcom hardware but write their own firmware. The latest Broadcom Trident and ASIC is used in many high-speed 10GB Plus switches from the largest switch vendors such as Cisco Nexus switches running NXOS, Dell FORCE10 running FTOS slash DNOS, all Arista 7050 series switches, the IBM slash BNT8264, 
and Juniper QFX3500. The latest member of the Trident family is the Trident 2XGS which can support up to 32X40G ports or 104X10G ports on a single chip. Examples of switches using this Trident 2XGS chip are the Dell Networking S6000, Cisco Nexus 9000 and some smaller vendors like, Edge Core AS6700, Penguin Arctica 3200XL or Quantum Mesh T5032. Video Core is the GPU found on some systems on a chip S by Broadcom the most widely known one being the BCM2835 containing video core 4 found in the Raspberry Pi. Broadcom Crystal HD does video acceleration. Video acceleration. Broadcom BCM43 series chips provide Wi-Fi support in many Android and iPhone devices. Models include the BCM4339 used in phones such as the Nexus 5 and the BCM4361 used in the Samsung Galaxy S8. These are SoC devices with a Cortex-R4 for processing the Mac and MLME layers and a proprietary Broadcom processor for the 802.11 physical layer. The chips also handle Wi-Fi Direct, Bluetooth and NFC. Wi-Fi chipsets In April 2017, Google's Project Zero investigated Broadcom's SoC Wi-Fi stack and found that it lacked all basic exploit mitigations, including stack cookies, safe unlinking, and access permission protection, allowing full device takeover by Wi-Fi proximity alone, requiring no user interaction. Numerous smartphones, such as by Apple, Samsung, and Google were affected. Broadcom supplies the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo chip for Apple iPhone 3GS and later generations and corresponding iPod Touch generations. In Q2 2005, Broadcom Corporation announced it would be providing Nintendo its online solution on a chip as deployed in millions of notebooks and PDAs across the globe, enabling Nintendo 802.11b connectivity with DS and 802.11 grams for the WII. More specifically, Broadcom would provide Bluetooth connectivity for WIIS controller. In 2013 Broadcom unveiled the first 802.11 AC 5G Wi-Fi socks which is adopted across many mobile phones including the Samsung Galaxy S4 and S5, the HTC One and the LG Nexus 5. Additionally, routers from Motorola, Netgear, Huawei and Belkin also include Broadcom's 802.11 AC chips. Broadcom authored its own VoIP codex in 2002, and released them as open source with LGPL license in 2009. Some free and open source drivers are available and included in the Linux kernel source tree for the 802.11b-g-a-n family of wireless chips Broadcom produces. Since the release of the February 6, 26 kernel some Broadcom chips have kernel support but require external firmware to be built. Broadvoice 16 with declared bitrate 16k bit slash s and audio sampling frequency 8 kHz, Broadvoice 32 with declared bitrate 32k bit slash s and sampling rate of 16 kHz. In 2003 the Free Software Foundation accused Broadcom of not complying with the new general public license as Broadcom distributed GPL code in a driver for its 802.11 grams router chipset without making that code public. Vulnerabilities in SoC Wi-Fi Stack Broad Voice Linux Products Raspberry Pi the chipset was adopted by Linksys which was later purchased by Cisco. 
Cisco eventually published source code for the firmware for its WRT5 4G wireless broadband router under the GPL license. In 2012 the Linux Foundation listed Broadcom as one of the top 10 companies contributing to the development of the Linux kernel for 2011, placing it in the top 5% of an estimated 226 contributing companies. The Foundation's Linux kernel development report also noted that, during the course of the year, Broadcom submitted 2,916 changes to the kernel. In October, Broadcom released parts of the Raspberry Pi user land under a BSD-style license. According to the Raspberry Pi Foundation, this made it the first ARM-based multimedia SoC with fully functional, vendor-provided fully open-source drivers although due to substantial binary firmware code which must be executing in parallel with the operating system, and which executes independently and prior to loading of the operating system, this claim has not been universally accepted. Broadcom provided a Linux driver for their Broadcom Crystal HD, and they also hired Eric Enholt, a former Intel employee to work on a free and open-source graphics device driver for their Video Core 4. Broadcom organizes the fabrication of the processor chip, most recently the BCM2837 chip and the Wi-Fi processor BCM43438, which is used by the charitable Raspberry Pi Foundation. The Foundation requested help from Broadcom making the Raspberry Pi card, a motherboard which is free of DRM or corporate control of any kind, which can interact with hardware, and which can be bought and controlled by children. Broadcom is known as a fables company. It outsources all semiconductor manufacturing to Asian merchant foundries, such as Global Foundries, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, Siltera, TSMC, and United Microelectronics Corporation. The company is based in Irvine, California, in the University Research Park on the University of California, Irvine campus, after a 2007 move from its previous campus near the Irvine Spectrum. It has many other research and development sites including Silicon Fen, Cambridge, Bangalore and Hyderabad in India, Richmond and Markham in Canada and Sophia Antipolis in France. In September 2011, Broadcom bought NetLogic Microsystems for a deal of $3.7 billion in cash, excluding around $450 million of NetLogic employee shareholdings, which will transfer to Broadcom. Besides the NetLogic Microsystems acquisition, through the years, Broadcom has acquired many smaller companies to quickly enter new markets. Business The Broadcom logo was designed by Elliot Hochberg based on the logo for the company's previous name, Broadband Telecom. The Broadband Telecom logo was designed by co-founder Henry Nicholas then wife Stacy Nicholas, who was inspired by the mathematical sin function. Notable Employees Manufacturing Acquisitions Branding